But first, she was strangled by the hands of a killer. Tonight, we know more about the death of Gabby Petito as new facts are revealed from her autopsy. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. It is a big night for sports fans here in the Bay Area with the Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning raising the banner and dropping the puck for their new season. And of course, some shocking sudden fall from grace news for former Bucks head coach John Gruden. But we're going to start it off with the newest information on the death of Gabby Petito as the Teton County Wyoming coroner reveals the findings of Gabby's autopsy. Justin Shecker has been covering the story from the very beginning. He joins us live in our Tampa newsroom tonight. Justin. Josh and Jen, good evening to you both. Gabby Petito's parents received word of how their daughter died before the Wyoming coroner publicly released the cause of her death today. Tonight, a major question has been answered about what happened to 22-year-old Gabby Petito. The Teton County coroner, Dr. Brent Blue, says the cause of her death was manual strangulation or throttling, meaning someone attacked and choked her with their hands. By Wyoming state statute, only the cause and manner of death are released. Two days after the discovery of Petito's remains in Wyoming's Bridger Teton National Forest on September 19th, the FBI announced the manner of her death was homicide. As far as the uh, time of death, uh, we are estimating three to four weeks from the time that uh, the body was found. Police say Petito had not been seen since August 27th. That same day, this video from travel bloggers placed the white van from her cross-country road trip with fiance Brian Laundrie in the camping area near where authorities found her body. Dr. Blue confirmed law enforcement collected DNA samples. A USF criminology professor tells us. They were a couple and they were living in a van together. So it would be expected that his DNA would be on her. The attorney for the Laundry family, Stephen Bertolino, told Eight on Your Side, while Brian Laundry is currently charged with the unauthorized use of a debit card belonging to Gabby, Brian is only considered a person of interest in relation to Gabby Petito's demise. Gabby's mother, Nicole Schmidt, responded saying his words are garbage. While the coroner has revealed how her daughter died, the FBI is still building its case on who is responsible. Unfortunately, uh, this is only one of uh, many deaths uh, around the country uh, of uh, people who are involved in domestic violence. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, these other deaths do not get as much coverage as this one. And the coroner says Petito's body has been returned to the mortuary in Wyoming. The attorney for her parents says they're not making any more statements until, quote, they bring Gabby home. And Josh, tonight, the search continues for Brian Laundrie, the person of interest in this investigation that's captivated the country. All right, Justin Shecker, live for us in the Tampa newsroom. Justin, thanks for that.